Video 1. Overview. Your first sound. When you first open Sunvox, this is what you see. The Sunvox interface is divided into four primary windows. The upper part, set off from the lower part by a keyboard, is the tracker. Notes, which you would like to be played by the instruments loaded in the module view, can be inserted into the middle part of the screen, on the right, with the keyboard. I will show you later how you can enter notes into the tracker. Below the keyboard, there is a vertical bar that contains the playback commands and a volume control on the right. It is also possible to resize the tracker and the module view. The module view is where the sound is generated. Here you can choose which instrument or module is going to be triggered by the tracker. Each module is represented by a box. The wires connecting the boxes show in which direction the sound will travel. This is the default template, but it's a little bit complicated. We are going to start a new session and do something easier in a moment. To the left of the module view is a panel for the module's parameters. In this panel, parameters for whichever module you have selected are shown on the left. Parameters can be manipulated with the arrows or by dragging the sliders. This will allow you to tweak each individual module. At the bottom of the screen is the timeline. This is where we can create and edit time regions and arrange the development of our song. Let's resize the timeline by moving this vertical bar. Now we can start a new project much more easily. Click on the icon in the top left corner. Select New Project and choose Empty. You will notice now that in the module view there is only the output module. You can create a new module either by double-clicking on the module view or by clicking on this menu. Under Synths, let's choose the first entry, Analog Generator. This will bring up the selected module in the module view. The module we choose, technically speaking, is an oscillator. The task of an oscillator is to produce a periodic oscillating signal, and this can be a sine wave, a square wave, or other kinds of waveforms. We've loaded a module, but there is as yet no connection to the output. In order to connect them, you must select the module that produces the signal, keep it selected, and with the other hand, select the output module. This operation will connect the modules through a wire. The little animation traveling along the wire shows us the signal path. Repeating the same operation on two already connected modules will delete the wire. Another solution for connecting modules is to first select the module that you want to route its output from, then click on its icon to enter into patching mode. You will notice that the background becomes green, and then you will be able to select the module that needs to receive the signal. Using the keyboard, you can now listen to the sound produced by the analog generator that we've chosen. By selecting the analog generator, you can move the first slider in the parameter panel to change the oscillator's volume, or the second slider to select a different waveform produced by the oscillator. Now we are ready to save our first patch made in Sunvox. Click on the icon in the top left corner and choose Save Project, then press OK. The project which we saved is going to be the starting point for our next tutorial.